Welcome to this lecture. Today we are diving into DNS spoofing. What it is and how you can perform this attack using BetterCap. Let's get started. First, let's quick understand DNS. Think of DNS as the internet's phone book. When you type a website's name like google.com into your browser, DNS convert that name into an IP address, the unique location of the server where the website's files are stored. For example, when you request google.com, your browser talk to a DNS server which return Google's IP address, allowing your browser to load the site, which returns Google's IP address, allowing your browser to load the site. But what happens if we are the man in the middle? Instead of letting the request go straight to the DNS server, we intercept it first. And now, instead of returning the real IP of the website, we can respond with any IP we want. That means we can redirect user to fake websites, backdoored pages, or even hijacking software updates. We will cover more advanced examples in future lectures. But for now, let's focus on running a basic DNS spoofing attack using better gap. In this demo, we will redirect requests from a specific website to our own local web server. Now let's move to the Kali machine. Before running better gap, we need to set up a web server on Kali Linux. Kali comes with Apache 2, a built-in web server. So let's start that with the command. Type command service Apache to start. If there are no errors, it means the web server is running. To check this, we need to find the IP address of our Kali machine. We will use the if config command. Our IP is 192.168.73.131. Now, when I type this IP into a browser, you will see the default page of the Apache web server. I'll copy that and open browser and paste our IP address and hit enter. You will see the default page of the Apache web server. Now open the file where this index file are stored. So open the file and press Ctrl R and type where www.html and enter the main file loaded by default is index.html let's quickly edit it to display a name as you can see here is the code of index.html and i will be remove it and type as cloud um, and save it now when I refresh the page, you can see the name of S3 Cloud Hub has appeared. This is what we will redirect our target to during the attack. Let's use the target machine for this demo. When we visit a website, for example, S3 Cloud Hub dot in. You will see the actual website load as expected. Now let's see how we can intercept and modify this using better gap. We will start better gap. Now let's see how we can intercept and modify this using better gap. So let's move to the our Kali machine. Close it. We will start better gap just like we have done in previous demonstration with the spoof caplet loaded. We can intercept and modify the data as it passes through our machine. So Run the better cap and type help. As you can see, DNS spoof is now not running. The module we need is DNS spoof. Let's check the option by typing help DNS spoof. Help DNS spoof. The first option we need to set is DNS spoof address, which tells better cap where to redirect the target. By default, it's set to our machine's IP address. So we will leave it. Next, we enable DNS spoof.all so that better cap respond to all DNS requests. We do this by typing set DNS spoof all to and hit enter. Then we need to specify the domains we want to spoof. In this case, we will targeting 
stcloudup.in and all its subdomain using a wildcard. So I will type set DNS of domains s3 cloud hub dot in and hit enter once everything is set we start the dns spoofing module by typing dns spoof on as you can see better gap is now actively spoofing dns request for s3 cloud hub and redirecting them to our ip address let's head back to our target machine and test it Remember if you have recently visited the site. Remember if you have recently visited the site, you might need to clear your browsing data for the changes to take effect. Now, now when the target visit S3 Cloud Hub dot in, they are redirected to our local website with the name of S3 Cloud Hub. The attack is successful. This DNS spoofing attack can work on most websites, even those using HTTPS. But there are limitations. For example, site using HSTS won't be vulnerable since the browser maintains a local list that forces HTTPS connections. So we have shown a simple text message as the cloud hub. And DNS spoofing has many real world applications. You could redirect user to phishing pages, fake login screens, or even deliver backdoor software updates. We will explore these advanced uses in future lessons. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more lessons on ethical hacking.